guys, what's up? Welcome to today's workout. We're keeping it simple. It's just upper body and abs. There's five blocks of work today. We're gonna do back-to-back -back movements. So there's no break. We'll take a 20 second break between. So three moves. We're gonna do two on the upper body and then one core. We're gonna finish this off with a two minute plank, but don't worry, that time is gonna fly by. If you're new to this channel, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any workouts. Hey guys, let's warm things up. Let's do shoulder rolls forward, up and back. So we have big circuit today. So we need some big arms. And then take them, alternate them, reaching up and back. And as you're spinning them up and back, try to go a little bit faster so that we brace the core. And then we're gonna squat down, right knee up, squat left knee up. And do a little rotation to the knee. We get the twist. And you might see our mats turn a little different color today. A lot of pollen around us. Let's do one more on each leg. Come down into a plank position. I almost don't want to step on my mat. Walk out, give me a push up, and then walk yourself back. Round and roll up. We're going to do two more of these inchworms. All right, one more time. Give me that push up and then stay. Bringing the right knee into the chest and switch. Now cross it to the opposite elbow. One more each. Down dog. Bend the knees, walk back. Roll up, and then we're gonna lunge back, reaching up. When you lunge back, this time give me a little reach to the side. Let's do one more on each leg. And then let's do a lateral lunge. Pause for a moment, and then to the other side. And last one. All right, open and close the chest. We can throw in some hamstring curls. This time, take the arms up. Little lat pull down. Plant the feet, start to twist. Last one, we're getting ready. We're starting with a chest press. So I'm gonna do 25, yeah. So on your back, I want your knees bent, and then I want your hips up. So the elbows can lightly touch the floor, or if you have a bench, you can get a different range of motion here. When I'm in bridge, I'm gonna press through the heels, squeeze my butt. And because it's a press, I'm punching straight up to the sky. So remember, after we're done with this move, we go right into a push-up. And we're gonna work the up part of the push-up. So we'll drop quick, 
and we'll come up slow. Put your weights down as fast as you can. You flip, you're gonna go drop quick and then press slow to come up. And a great one to do too is you can drop, then put the knees down and come up if you'd like. Or do as many as you can and then go into that version. Once we're done, we flip for a leg drop and a hip lift. So we do two arm movements and then go into core. Slow on that up. All right, we're flipping. Gonna drop the legs and then lift the hips up as you come up with those legs with a little power. Inhale to lower. Exhale, lift. Hands by the hips, or you can have them by your head. So once we get done with this, you have your break, and then we go into that second round. Take your rest here. Good time to open up the chest. Whew. Yeah, organize your weights. Okay, so five seconds chest press, ready? Come on your back. Bridge and press. So second set, right? I talk about it all the time that you wanna feel that extra push. Use the exhale to press that weight up. And again, if it's light, you're gonna go a little faster. When it's heavier, you're definitely gonna slow it down. Then remember that push up, we work on the eccentric, which is the up motion. All right, like lightning, we flip it. We're right into it, drop quick, slow to come up. Remember the trick, you can drop, then put the knees down and press yourself up. <laughs> Does that trick work? <laughs> I'm going into it, I'm pushing. Does your knee, does your nose touch the ground? Woo, come on. We got that leg drop in three seconds. Oh, I'm flipping, here we go. All right, drop and lift. So you'll have a little bit more break after this as we transition into the back. Well, finish it up, here we go. All right, Whew. get yourself some water. Cause we're getting ready for that second block. Whew. Nice job. Renegade row, and if you're not into the renegade, then you can just do an alternating row, but moderate to heavy. So I'm gonna be using 15. If I was gonna be standing, I probably would do 20. If I was doing them single, you can even probably go heavier. So again, I'm gonna do 15, and then we go into pull over. I'm using the 15s. <laughs> Still in my, <laughs> you could take a 12 and add a, or take a 10 and add a five. 
So Renegade Row, you're in plank or you're standing, and then we're gonna go into a pullover. You'll be on your back with one dumbbell. I'll use a 20. And then if you wanna use a 15, you can, okay? We'll figure that out. We're just gonna get you moving though. Renegade rows, be a renegade. So we're in plank pos position here, feet are open, butt is down, alternate pulling that weight up. Here's a little tip, when I'm pulling one up, I'm pushing through the other hand to help stabilize my body. And that can help you even go faster. Feel the difference? Remember, you can stand if you need to. Catherine, are you gonna want my 15 for the pullover? Okay, I'll make it accessible for you. All right, come on, a few more seconds. And then we flip on the back for pullover. One weight is over, let's go. I drop and I lift up. I'm gonna drop the legs and the arms. Inhale to lower, exhale to up, to lift. You don't need to lift your head up. You can keep your head and shoulders on the mat. This is perfect. 15's good. Yep. Inhale, lower down. And the one thing I really want you to focus on more so, not the legs, but the arms. Get those biceps by the ears. We flip it, we're in a plank, we're in a forearm, we're gonna tap or jack the feet. So if you wanna jack it or tap it, go for it. Keep those hips down. And tuck the tailbone slightly. Work on the in. You're speedy. I'm a little slower. <laughs> Three seconds. All right, quick break. Give me that 15 back. All right, renegade row. We go back into that second round in five seconds. Woo, get in there. Let's go. Alternate that pull up. Good technique. Don't go for any speed until you have your form down. Oh yeah, come on. Hopefully you're feeling that struggle here. Whew. Five seconds. Transition on your back. Pull over. I feel like I'm gonna be green. <laughs> Drop and lift right away. <laughs> Another way to work that, the lats here, because that's what pullovers help, is not come all the way up with the arms. Don't bring them too far forward. So make the range just a little bit smaller. Same thing with your legs. Flip it. Ooh. Forearm jack, let's go. Finish it up. It starts to get tough. All right, all you gotta do is tap it out. You still get the benefit. Push into your elbows. Oh. Feel that. Oh. Oh. 
Ooh. Light it up, come on. Your break is gonna happen. All right, relax. Ooh. So we're gonna be hitting the shoulders. Shoulders in that core. Give yourself some water. Ooh. Catch the breath. We're gonna do an upright row with an extension. I know I'm gonna go a little bit lighter, so I'm gonna grab something. I'm gonna use eights. I think Catherine is gonna be using five, just for a good range of motion here. And then we're gonna do a shoulder press. So it's gonna be this up, extend, in, and down. Zip it up, reach. So the core braces right there. And you don't wanna throw the weight. Have your knees a little bent. And then again, oh, really brace the core, zip it up. I'll just show you side view too. Have neutral spine. And then <laughs> no death grip, right? From this, I'm gonna go to 12s. Start at the top and then drop one and then the other. You start now. One stays up as the other one goes down. And watch your back, Catherine. Try not to bend, All right? So stay tall and straight. Keeping that arch and that low back. And then the core move is gonna be a V tuck. Or if you wanna make a bicycle, right? You could change it. Any of the core movements, if you feel like you wanna do something different, do something different for that 45 seconds. All right, I'm on the ground. Everything is out, everything is in. And again, hand position where you want it to be. I'm not gonna touch the floor with my hands or legs because I don't wanna get pollen. I'm sure my black shirt's got green all over it. You can even do straight legs. That's gonna turn it up a notch. I'm gonna go straight leg up. All right, come on up. Get yourself ready for that upright row and reach. Whew. Okay, through those feet, soften the knees, roll the shoulders back, up and extend. Push it down. Just a reminder, each block is like five, a little over five minutes. So try to take that water intake between the blocks. That should get you through this workout. Again, make sure you're drinking like half your body weight in ounces every day for water. And that's in pounds for us for body weight. Whew. We're gonna go to that shoulder press, dropping from the top. Weight starts at the top and we drop. All right, keep that length. So get the chin up. So through the 10 days, I tried to make sure that I gave you a lot of variety. Like I changed some of the motions. We may have done some of the same movement, but I changed it slightly so that we hit different areas of the body just a little bit differently here. 10 seconds, we're in that V-tuck. If you wanna make it harder, straighten out the legs in the V-tuck. Three seconds. On the ground. Whew. All right, here we go. 
We do straight legs. Everything comes up. Everything goes down. It's like a teaser, Pilates teaser, right? Oh, your pants are getting green. <laughs> Try to get up there. If you pause for a moment, 10 seconds. Woo. Relax. All right, nice job. We're going to go into those biceps at this point. The curl that we're going to do here, I think I'm going to start with 20. And it's, I call it a U shape. Right, so I bring that arm across the body and do an alternating curl. So that gives you the opportunity to go heavier with that weight. From that, I am gonna drop my weight and do a narrow and then a thumb out. So those are the two moves back to back. Then we come onto a plank for some cross mountains. So let's get ready to roll. Did you get your water? I didn't. <laughs> Grab that heavier weight. You're good. That's what it looks like with the weight. One and then the other. Bring it in and switch. And because you're keeping it really tight to the body, you can go for that heavier weight. I might be able to do 25. I'll try that the second set. And your thumb goes out as it comes up. Oh, you got it. <sighs> yeah, you might have to go heavier too, right? You might want my 20s. <sighs> so remember, I'm gonna lighten it up a little bit here. I'm gonna go into, I'm actually gonna do 12 narrow curl. I'm gonna narrow and then thumbs out wide. Palms up, and then thumb up. And then we're coming to a mountain climber. Here's what I want you to do, listen to me. When we do the mountain climber, you're gonna bring the knee to that opposite side two times and see if you can lift up your hand. I'll show you a little preview here so you can check it out. Woo. Five seconds. So we're coming into that mountain climber. So I'm gonna bring the knee in. One, two, and then switch. One, two, lift the hand. Knee, knee, switch. And the foot doesn't even have to touch the floor. It can just kinda be suspended in the air. One more, and then just full out climbers. Go. All right, get ready. Come and drive, grab the 15s here. Yeah, because I'm gonna go 25, eight seconds. Holy cow, that's heavy. Here we go. Bring it up. That's okay. You're gonna feel your core activate a little bit more. My 20 seconds. I feel my core activated more. Don't you? That's like functionality. When you're lifting something heavy. Oh, lower the weight. Ooh, wide, narrow. Palms up, thumbs out. Oh, I was gonna say this is kind of light, but not not now. Oh. 
And again, get a good range of motion here, all the way up, fist to shoulder. Soften the knees, set, set that core. Keep the spine long. Lift up out of your hips. Okay, double mountain. Here we go. Woo. So it's two knees to the side. One, two, you can even tap the knee. That twist is gonna get that oblique. We'll do two more, and then we'll go for a nice climber. You could do cross mountain or straight in, go. I'm gonna do cross mountain. Ooh, good job. Oh my gosh. Shake it up. Ooh. Yeah, we got some fire going on. Okay, get your water. Here come the triceps. This is the last group that we have. We got skull crushers and dolphin. Everybody knows your skull crusher. You have options of going pinky in. If you have a lighter load, you can go thumbs in too. And you can bury it. I'm gonna show you what a dolphin looks like. I'm in down dog and I drop the elbows and then I lift the elbows. I can have, I can be on the knees and do this. If you wanna do a moving plank, you also have that option. And if you hate it all, Overhead extension, okay? So let's do it. Skull crushers. You're recovered. Hmm? Yep, we're gonna be on your back looking at the sky or your ceiling. If you're at home, take it, take it outside, I keep telling you. I'm gonna go 12. Pinky in, five seconds before we go. Bend those elbows and then press them up. I'm gonna have my feet up and just push my back into the mat just so I kind of stay in a activated core position here. And I'm gonna go slower on that up movement. So once we get done with this, we just flip and go into down dog for the dolphin. So down dog, hips are up, hands inside the shoulders. I bend the elbows and then I press back up. So drop the head between the arms. And you could do moving plank. You could go up to the hands, or you can do kneeling overhead extension. And you can vary your hands. I like mine a little bit closer. But this would be the same as doing overhead extension, but we're using body weight. Ooh, I'm shaking. All right, flip it, come on your back. All we're gonna do is bend the knees, head and shoulders up, and reach for the ankle. So lift the head and shoulders off the mat. Look towards your thighs. Hold on, hold on. Go ahead and reach. Feels like a little TikTok. And if your neck gets a little bit tense and tight, you can take one hand behind, go one side for a little bit, and then do the other. But I just, I think we can keep our head up. It's good for neck strength. Eight seconds to go. All right, take this time, take a little break. 
We're gonna get back into that skull crusher. Ooh. All right, remember, pinkies can come in. If it wasn't hard enough, do something about that, right? This is the last set. Get yourself set up. Legs are up, pinkies in, skull crushers. Again, I'm gonna focus a little bit slower on the up. And then you can angle your arm slightly back a little further. Sometimes that, that little bit of adjustment can make it a little bit harder if you have lighter weight. Pull up and in in the core. So remember we have dolphin coming up. Catherine's gonna do overhead extension so that you know exactly that you can take that option. So I'm gonna be in down dog, hands inside, the shoulders, hips up, bending the elbows, pressing up. And that's great, Catherine's in kneeling position here. So look, it's the same movement, but one's with a weight and one is with body weight. So you know what I can feel? So I had my second vaccine. I can feel my left arm struggling more. That's where my shot was just a couple days ago. Oh. No, you can do it. Let's do it. Flip it on your back. Ooh, side bend. You can always stand in side bend if you'd like to, but reach for that ankle. Okay, we're moving in all different directions here. Let me go for that reach. No need to rush this one. All right, take a breather here. Oh, okay, relax. I do have a little challenge for you today though. Catherine thought she was done. Whew. So give your shoulders a little break because we're gonna do a two minute plank. Oh gosh, it's right. And I'm gonna vary it so that we have a little bit of variety in that plank. So again, let your shoulders relax. You get two minutes in that plank to try to make it a little bit harder with each variation that we add into this here. Whew. Two minutes, you can do it. Two minutes. Hmm. Oh, yeah, a lot of shoulders for sure. When we do upper body, you hit the shoulders a lot. Okay, are we ready? So let's start on our hands. So when you're ready, are you ready? She's ready, are you ready? I heard it. I'm ready, Michelle. Let's do it. Okay, hands under shoulders. Feet back. Hold, now, in a plank, I want hands under shoulders. Feel like you're dragging yourself forward. Tuck your tailbone and squeeze the glutes a little bit here. So from that position. All I'm gonna have you do is lift up the right leg and hold it. So these are gonna be 10 seconds. Squeeze the butt. Switch legs. As the leg lifts, try not to let your hips go any higher. A little tuck of the tailbone. Right arm, open the legs a little bit here. Right arm. Oh yeah, this is a tough one. Just got done with that upper body. Left arm. Bring that bicep by your ear. Forearm plank. Come on down, bring the feet in. Tuck the tailbone slightly, lift the hips. Drop the right hip only, down up right hip only. Only left hip now, drop and pull up. Pull up and in. 
hold it now lift up an inch drop an inch while you're lifting and lowering press into your elbows hold it down tap the right foot out and in only right switch hold tuck under hold this last 10 seconds see that went by fast now you're done Ooh, sit back reach the arms give me thumbs up nice job drop the head between the arms settle your hips back Come to all four. Take the right arm, reach it out. Ooh, look to it. Take the hand behind the head. And then open the chest up. And then thread it through. And you can drop the shoulder. <laughs> like I'm thinking, oh my God, I'm gonna get green all over me. I'm taking a shower after this. You can thread it through. A little child thread through. Let's do the other side. Oh, open up the left arm. You can do the reach first, and then if you want, open up by putting the head, the hand behind the head. A little spinal twist, and then thread it through. Reaching the other arm out. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. Last deep breath here. And then take it up. Ooh, kneeling tricep stretch, so pat your back. Other arm. Then behind the back. the back Ooh, all right stand on up you guys you made it through nice job reach it up all the way to the sky pull it down through your heart behind the head open up the chest reach out and one more time what are you grateful for today Ooh, grateful to you guys thank you so much for being here I hope you enjoyed that workout great job Woo, yay thank you Catherine for being here if you're getting value out of the content, do make sure you give me that thumbs up, share it with a friend, and comment below. All that stuff helps me out. All right, you guys, high five today. Have a great day. Take care. Bye.